Hello, hello. Good evening and happy Monday. So I hope that you are all able to join me. I feel like I'm really like low. I don't know why I feel like I'm lower than normal today. So maybe I have shrunk. <laughs> and that would not be good for somebody that is already so incredibly short. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Oh, all right, let's see. Get some people to join me today. I hope everybody has had a fabulous weekend. I know I did. <coughs> what I don't like is that my drink is way over there. So if you want to, um, hold on a second. Let me go get my drink over there. Even though I, I'm sadly um, going to go off camera and nobody's on and then they're gonna jump on and see that I'm not here and think that I've left them. But maybe I could do it real fast. So hold up. I'm still here guys, so if you're jumping on, I just need to get my drink. I left it way over there. Okay, see I made it so fast, look at me go. Oh, yep, it's that type of day. Okay, so yay. I have two projects for you today. I'm pretty excited. So two, two projects. But first I wanna know what you guys did this weekend. So that is what I'm curious about. I'm curious what you guys did for the weekend. Hello, Judy, how are you? So what did you do this weekend? So I'm very curious what you did this weekend. So I had um, football and they won, so that's exciting. And we had um, a football visit on Saturday at NIU. So that was exciting. And then I think I slept all day Sunday. <laughs> so literally all day Sunday. So yeah, so that was my exciting day. I mean, my exciting weekend. So yeah, so I'm so curious what you did. So yep, I, I'm um, excited to show you my project today. I have two projects today and neither are Christmas. So I totally lied to you guys and I'm not doing Christmas. <laughs> I figured I don't even know how I could start Christmas when um, it was hotter than crap outside. <laughs> so I don't even understand. So yeah, so I totally lied. <laughs> not much. Oh, you had bingo. Oh my gosh, bingo on Friday. That is definitely a highlight. Did you win? I'm sure you won. So how much did you win? So how much did you win on Friday? You have the best luck I have ever met in my entire life. Are people sleeping in the house? You were whispering. I was whispering. <laughs> That's so unusual that I'm whispering. Won all $37. But Judy, you still won. It doesn't matter, 37, you still won. You always, always win. I just don't even understand your luck of winning. Oh my gosh, I just don't even get it. I, I don't even understand. Do you gamble? Like go to the boats and stuff because you are always winning. Hi, Christy. We're wondering what everybody did over the weekend. So I shared um, that we went, we had football, of course, on Friday. And then we had NIU visit on Saturday. And then I literally slept all day Sunday. <laughs> so literally all day Sunday. <laughs> so which is sad because I missed all of football on Sunday. So yeah, not so lucky with raffles this round. Isn't that something? I agree. I, I don't, I see your name still. Oh my gosh, Christy, you were in Disney. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't even remember seeing that that much on, on your Facebook page. Why? I must be missing it. You did win a gift card and TV though already, so can't complain. That is very true. And it was a quite big TV if I remember correctly. So yeah. And I must be missing your Disney pictures, Christy. So I don't even understand that. So my goodness. Yeah. And and Judy, once uh, football is over, I want to be able to go to bingo. So that would be a wonderful thing because I really miss bingo stuff. So I do miss my bingo. I'm telling you. So I know it's late and my mom is probably sleeping. So she probably won't be able to chime in, but I know she was at uh, football with me on Friday. <laughs> so that that's true. That's a deal. Thank you. Because I really want to go to bingo. Um, I'm still trying to get our exchange club to do bingo, but any 
anybody else that's out there that would like to invite me to bingo, I really love bingo and so does Judy. <laughs> so we do like our bingo. <laughs> so even if it's virtual, we like bingo. So yeah. So um, I was telling you guys, um, wait, what is Christy saying? Ha ha. Nope, it wasn't on Facebook. Carl and I celebrated our 15 year anniversary in Disney. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting to do that in Disney. Oh, that's so cool. You know, there was a lot of people I know that were in Disney. So um, I don't know if you know... Do you know Patricia from the bank? I don't know if you know her, but she's in, she was in Disney and I think she's still in Disney. I think she's been in Disney for two weeks, I swear. Um, so she's in Disney and then um, Joe and Jamie were in Disney. I don't know if they're back yet. So they're in Disney. I think there's a lot of people in Disney. So this must be the time to go to Disney, I swear. I think it is the time to go to Disney. So my goodness gracious. So I hope you guys had a, a, an awesome time in Disney. So um, I've only gone to Disney twice and it's probably been forever. So I think Michael, the last time we went to Disney and it wasn't even really Disney, so correct me, Bill, but um, Christy, you would know it was with, um, I think it was with the Prowlers and it was when Michael was with football. So we went for one of those things um, when football people went. So, <laughs> so it was that long ago. I think he was with Tiny Mites or one of those levels. I don't even remember. So it's it's been a long time <laughs> since I've been to wherever it is we went. So yeah. All right. So let's get to projects. So here's what I'm going to do. So just so you know, I was going, um, I was not going to do winter today. So I couldn't do it because it was gorgeous out today. Um, almost hot, actually. So I decided to do... Um, Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I was hoping my mom was going to be on. So I was going to do Thanksgiving in honor of my mom. <laughs> so yes, October 1st started the 50th anniversary. So it's a big celebration. That makes sense. That explains why so many people are there and for so long. My goodness gracious. So that explains a lot. So um, because seriously, my friend, I think she's been there two weeks. I, I swear. We had a blast. Thank you. That is awesome. So they had a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, and both of my other friends, they had um, they dressed up like all the time. Like they had that uh, um, uh, some dress up thing um, where they um, oh, I can't remember what it was. Some dress up thing. Um, boo bash. I think it's a boo bash or something. I think that's what it is. So yeah, it sounded cool, especially because I love Halloween and I like anything themes. Yeah, boobash. Um, and I like a theme, which obviously, you know, so I like my themes. So yeah. So here's what I'm doing, guys. So and I really wish my mom was on but I know she's sleeping. She had a long day. Um, so I'm doing this one. This is our um, October transfer of the month. So this is the club couture transfer. So if you guys are not part of our um, Club Couture, you should be. This is our happy mail that you get once a month. So um, this is the grateful one. It's nineteen um, nineteen ninety nine a month. You get a B size transfer plus um, three paste that you get mailed to your house once a month. This is for October. We're in October, yeah. This is for October. And so I haven't even done anything with this one yet because I've been waiting to do it on a shirt. I really, really want to do it on a shirt. So this is the one that I'm going to do now for you. And then, because it goes, it's going to go pretty quick, so I'm going to put this on here, and then afterwards, we're going to do this one, the gobble, gobble till you wobble. So that's my really only Thanksgiving things that I have. <laughs> so being as my mom was so um, distraught over us skipping right over Thanksgiving, um, I thought that I would <laughs> do Thanksgiving for her, but then I was bummed, because then I'm like, oh, it's 8 o'clock, she's never going to be here for an 8 o'clock an eight o'clock live. However, she will watch the replay when she gets up at eight at four o'clock in the morning. So, so, you know, it's okay. And then she'll make her comments at four o'clock in the morning and wake the rest of us up at four o'clock. Okay. So this is the shirt I'm putting it on. You can literally put it on any shirt you want to. We don't do too many shirts. So you guys are going to learn a lot today. Um, I don't know if I can turn this one around for you guys because I'm not that good at shirts quite yet um, for the inking. So I'll try, but I'm not 100% sure. So with shirts, we use ink, okay? So we don't use the chalk paste, we use ink. This is 100% permanent. 
Um, as you guys know, I have done regular shirts with vinyl, the heat vinyl, um, and I have one on, and as you can see, it kind of cracks a little bit over time. So what I love, by the way, is ink does not do that. So ink is permanent forever. So love it. So vinyl, heat vinyl lasts about for 50, 50 washes. That is not the case with ink. It lasts forever. So I absolutely am excited about that. So the other good thing about... Actually, I'm going to do this first. The other good thing about the ink um, is you don't have to fuzz it. And you don't have to fuzz it because it's going on a fabric. So you don't have to fuzz it. So this is our, um, what do they call this? I don't know what they call this. Ink pad, maybe? An ink pad, maybe, is what they call this. Um, so you can use... Um, an ink pad, if you're a Cricut or Silhouette person and you don't have one of these, you can use one of those pads too. I'm hoping that this is going to fit in here. So let's hope anyways. If not, I might use my Cricut pad. I'm going to see if it fits. So bear with me. I'm hoping I'm going to have time to do that. Gobble till you wobble. So in the magazine, um, we have the gobble till you wobble on a tea towel, guys. Isn't that a cute idea to do one on a tea towel? I thought that was cute. I'm going to put mine on a um, board and base today. So we're just going to put it on a board and base. So, but here's, I'm going to put this on here. So you can put this on whatever you want, whatever type of surface you want. Okay, this is going to be tricky, guys. It's going to be tricky. Let's see. I want to make sure that this gets on here okay so we don't stretch it too do too much here. So let's see. What I'm going to like about this, I got to tell you, again, don't know how many of you guys um, do Silhouette or Cricut or stuff, but this is going to be nice because we don't have to weed. No weeding for us. So that's going to be beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and turn my Cricut. I have a Cricut heat press over here. I have a big heat press, but it's way over there. So I did get a little Cricut heat press so it's mobile for us. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put our transfer on here. And I'm going to kind of put this a little closer to the top just because it's a lower neck. And so I'm gonna keep it to the top a little bit, if that makes sense. And then I did end up putting um, a little crease here so I can see where the center is. So hopefully that makes sense too. I don't even know if you guys are talking to me. You guys still with me? All right, let's see, okay. And I'm going to use Dune. I'm hoping Dune's going to be nice. So Joey helped me today. So Joey helped me pick this out. I had two shirts I didn't know which one to use. I was really undecided on between two different shirts. And so Joey picked this shirt with me. And then I was just undecided between two different colors of ink. And so he picked Dune. So this is the color. I'm gonna swipe you guys away up here so I can see. So this is the color he chose. So this is Dune. It's kind of like a creamy color, like a like an ivory is kind of how I look at it. And technically you don't have to mix this one. Um, I just wanted to, because it looked like I wanted to. It looked like it needed it. Now, one really important thing when you do ink. Now, you guys are used to watching me and I always wipe my fingers anyways. However, really, really important to wipe your fingers more so because it's permanent, okay? So we don't want any of our ink to get on our shirt anywhere else. So we wanna make sure that our towel is here, okay? We're gonna put this on a little bit heavier than we do with our chalk paste. And we're gonna go ahead and, I don't know, start in the middle. You can kind of probably start wherever you want to. Of course I was nervous, because you guys know I'm always nervous before we do any project. 
but I'm putting it on pretty thick guys. And you guys can probably do an ombre. You could probably do anything with this too, I would assume. But because I'm new at inking, because I've not really inked too much, I'm gonna start with the basics. I'm gonna start with the basics, guys. Because I'm not sure how heavy to put this on. We're gonna learn together. And I'm scared to go off the edge. Holy crap. Okay. So it's kind of funny because I am so used to doing shirts with the vinyl. Like I can just whip them out. So this kind of makes me a little nervous. Gotta tell ya. Like I'm not 100% sure how heavy to put this. And that made me nervous. I was afraid I was just going to spill it right all over the place. All right. Okay. And let's go ahead and I'm going to take some of the excess off, but nothing. I'm not going to take it off like we do with um, our paste. So I'm going to still take some of the excess off, but I'm not scraping like I normally do. I, I know that makes absolutely no sense. I just don't want to have the the lines. I don't want the lines like I have with the other stuff, but I'm not going all the way down to where I don't see anything. So I hope that that was as clear as mine. All right. Okay, I'm nervous. Okay, here we go, guys. We're doing the same thing though, side to side, top to bottom. Here goes. Oh, yay. Okay, I'm excited. I'm super excited. It went on thick enough. So that must be the trick. Okay, I'm too excited. Okay, do you guys see it? Look at that, too excited. Now, here's the question, is how to get this out of here. Okay, hold on. Let's move this all out of the way. Okay. So here's the trick. We have to get this out of here because we want to dry this. Holy geez, I'm a nervous wreck. So we want to dry this without the mat. From my understanding, I need another hand. <laughs> From my understanding, oh good grief. Um, we don't, we need to dry this, but we don't want the mat there. I'm too scared to do this. Hmm. Because the mat, well, I'm just leaving it. Well, it's just gonna have to happen. Okay, it's just staying, guys. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. So from my understanding, the mat, we take the mat out before we dry this, because we have to dry this perfectly before we do the Cricut heat press. But I'm afraid to do that, guys. And this looks like it's gonna unfold on me. Do you hear that? What's this weird sound? All right, so we're gonna keep letting this dry. I wonder if I should let this dry over here and then do the gobble till you wobble. I think I will, because I don't like the way that sounds. That sounds odd to me. So let's put this, I'm going to close this up. Let's close this.
I'm gonna put this over here. Sorry guys if I'm off camera there for a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the gobble till you wobble while that dries a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on here. So I'm gonna take this off. So as a reminder, we're gonna go ahead and spray here and we're using um, distilled water. We're gonna let that sit for a minute. And then here's a question for you. So we're gonna do the gobble till you wobble. And what I was thinking of doing uh, is a couple different colors. So I was thinking of using some crimson and some pumpkin. I think I was thinking of doing some shimmers. So some crimson, some pumpkin, maybe some copper, gold, and shimmer plum. What do you think? That's what I was thinking of doing. And then what do you think? Maybe we can even do camel, camel on the body. And then maybe... One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Well, there's no way to do it even because there's not enough. It's not an even amount. Yeah, there's not an even amount. So we'll just kind of do, um, we'll just kind of do, what do you think we should do? So if we did crimson and then gold, and then pumpkin, plum, copper. I wonder if we should do it all messy look all together and then do here in camel, or should we do each feather a different color? Do I have any other shimmers? I'm gonna check. Let me see if I have any other shimmers. I have another, I have a green shimmer. Let's see. So I have a shimmer olive. And I have a shimmer shimmer white over here, like the shimmer, the shimmer frost. Okay. What do you guys think in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have nine shimmers. That is a dilemma, guys. That is a dilemma. I don't have enough shimmers for all of it. So we definitely have to duplicate. Definitely have to duplicate. So that is okay. So we'll duplicate something. We'll figure out what we're going to duplicate, but we'll duplicate something for sure. And then Camel for sure will do the body. Don't you think it's weird that he doesn't have a head? I think it's weird that he doesn't have a head. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this part. Guys, I don't have anything from you guys. Are you guys there still? I don't have no comments. Did I lose you guys? Oh, this has been on here forever. Holy cow. Did I lose you guys? Is Facebook acting up for me? Because I have no comments. I'm out here on an island all by myself. So it's yeah. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, at least it's coming off a little bit better now. I just love this stuff. I love how easy this is to just take off and we can just change it out. And this one especially, because it's been on here forever. I think we did this one, gosh, guys, we did this one back, geez, how long ago was that? Um, gosh, that was, I think we did this one back in, August. 
maybe even July, because I think this might have been the July one. Oh my goodness gracious. I think it might have been. I don't even know. All right. All right, let's see. Oh. All right, let's do this. Isn't that amazing? Look at how great that is. I just love it. Oh, that's weird. Okay. All right. I'm going to swipe you guys back here because maybe I have comments on, on my phone. No, I don't. Oh, I have nothing. Oh, I do. Message on his behind. <laughs> Josie, hi. I'm just watching. Michelle, hi. I'm watching. Hi. Oh, I have all these messages on my phone. I didn't even see them. I have nothing on my computer. This is so sad, guys. I'm so sorry. Judy wouldn't do white feather. Okay, so let's get rid of the shimmer. Okay, so let's get rid of shimmer. And then no head message on his behind. Yeah, so, oh, duh. That makes sense, Judy. So his head is over here, huh? So that's his behind. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, did I miss anything else? Let's see. Okay, message on his behind. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Okay, so now I, I'm caught up. Okay, so we'll just kind of mix up these, all these little uh, comments. I mean, all of these little um, shimmers on here. Alrighty, let's do this. Now I'll just keep looking. He's walking away. That's perfect. Good job, Judy. Good job. I'm so glad you're watching. Keeping me, keeping me smart. This is a really sticky one, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, man. My thing is going to turn off on me over there. All right, here we go. So, this transfer, and as a reminder, guys, this is a very sticky transfer. So, these are reusable transfers. They are screen prints, very different than a stencil, so you can't stick your finger through them. They are um, like a stencil where it's screen print right there and so we fuzz them so they are not very sticky so then they do not stick to our surface and come off we want them to stick a little bit but we want them to be able to come off so we're going to fuzz them which is exactly what it means where we get some of our fuzzy stuff from our towel onto our transfer and you can, if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can literally use anything. You can use a shirt, you can use jeans, you can use a kitchen towel, anything that is terry cloth type of stuff. So, and then I'm going to have to turn my thing back on. Boop. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and stick this on here. And let's go to town. This is going to be so cute. I so, I can't wait till my mom watches. All right. And remember, we're gonna get all of our air bubbles out. So we're gonna take a squeegee and we're gonna push up just to make sure we don't have any air bubbles because we don't want to have anything run. And again, if you look at it from an angle, you'll be able to usually see it. All right, so we don't have anything there. And then I'm thinking, what if I do here? Well, I don't know. now. If it's his body, do we need to have the body be brown? Because this is his backside. It's his butt. Do I need his butt to be brown? I don't know now. I don't know if his butt needs to be brown. So I'm going to wait for you guys to chime in on the butt. So I'm going to just start opening all the rest of the paste. And just so you know, this is Chalkology paste. These are all my shimmers that I have, which I absolutely love. It's all kind of like glitter. And these are all washable on all of our boards and bases and all of our fun surfaces that we have. I'm so excited. All right. Because we can always just put them all here and then blend it, kind of do like an ombre effect into here. We can always put the, 
If we wanted to put the camel here, we can, and then just kind of ombre it into it. Oh, I've made a mess. Shocking. Boop. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you think? I gotta keep remembering to look up. It's gonna confuse me. Oh, did we not use this one, guys? Did we not use this? Oh, that's beautiful. That one's a beautiful one. What's this one? This is our shimmer plum. This is the one we like a lot. Oh, that one's a messy one. I don't want too messy there. All right, and then we have our shimmer olive. This is going to be a fun one. My mom's going to be so excited when she wakes up. She's be so excited. All right. All right. What do you guys think? Love the plum. Me too. Oh my gosh. I love the plum color. I wish I could do everything in the plum. <laughs> okay. So look at all these gorgeous colors. I tell you. Okay. Let's see. We have, let's see. Sounds good. Blend it in. Let's go for it. Let's blend it in. That means I'm doing it. And you know what is a lovely thing? If we don't like it, wash it off and do it again, right? We just wash it off and do it all over. However, I think we're gonna like it. <coughs> okay. So with our pastes, different than our inks, we stir, okay? But we don't wanna commingle. Don't wanna commingle anything. So we're just going to take our little stir sticks and we stir, and then you can just leave your stir sticks in there so you don't get confused. Okay. And some of them, if you use them enough, you could, you don't have to stir them as much if you use them every day. I use them every other day sometimes because I go live every other day pretty much, so. Oh, look at this one. Oh my is like a Trojan color, isn't it? Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. So Christy, this, this room here that I crafted was the Trojan's color. The Trojan football color was this room. So this used to be the boy's bedroom until they, um, until I think it was Joey was in eighth grade and finally Michael, okay, the younger one, Michael, came to me and said um, that he wants his own room. <laughs> so Joey didn't, Michael did. <laughs> so he's the one that wanted his own room and said that he's done, he's done sharing a room. And so they they went into a, their own room and then um, this was nothing for a while and then I finally decided to take over. So I left it purple um, until I decided to start um, Chalk Tour. So I left it purple, yeah. And then um, decided that I didn't think purple and teal go together, but then found out that purple and teal go together beautifully and wish I would have remembered, realized that. So yeah, so look at that. But yeah, it was purple. It was the the purple all the way from the time they played Trojans until, until June. <laughs> so look at that. All right, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna do it guys. We're gonna have to move fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to figure this out. Okay, here goes. So we're gonna go ahead and take our squeegee, dip it in there. We're gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna kind of put it on a little thicker because we're gonna blend. We're just gonna kind of put it like this a little cause I'm gonna go ahead and blend a little bit. So we're gonna take some of these colors and we don't want to, I hope that's gonna be seen okay. That one's a little bit darker. I don't even know if that's going to, the crimson might not be seen that much. So we will see how that will work. Oh my, should have used a smaller one. And then once we're done with this, we are going to blend it all together. Hopefully, anyways. 
if it works the way I want it to work, but we, the reason you move fast is because you don't want any of the chalk, because this is chalk paste, you don't want any of the chalk paste to dry inside your screen print. So that is why we're kind of moving a little faster. And being as I was not 100% sure what colors we're gonna end with, that is the reason that I was kind of moving the way I was moving. And I'm gonna start again over here with the crimson and we're just gonna kind of go like this because I'm OCD. So now I have to go in order. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> and I can't sit here and ask you guys your opinion on that because then it would dry too fast. So we can't do it, sorry. And if I only had a little bit of color, I mean, if I had nine colors, we would have been perfect, right? All right, so there's that. Then to do the ombre effect, we grab a little disinfecting wipe and we wet our fingers and then we're just gonna do this. And we're gonna blend our little fingers with all of these colors, just like that. And it's gonna go ahead and blend together like that. And then we can go back and take any of our excess off, which actually I'm gonna take our excess off with a skinnier one. So hold on one second. Um, I have a skinnier one here, so I'm gonna use it with the skinnier one so I don't get any other colors in there. Because again, you don't want to blend. Okay, I think that's it. All right, so there's that. And then when you pull it off, you want to go from side to side or top to bottom because you don't want to stretch the you don't want to stretch the, the transfer. So you can pull from the side right there, but then you go from here and then you're going to pull kind of up. Ah, oh, this one is really sticky, guys. And I'm going to try to see it so you guys can see it. Do you guys see it? And then just so you know, I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but do you guys see how that is? So it's pretty dirty, right? So you're gonna go ahead and wash this. You take one of those board erasers that I showed you in the beginning when I washed the surface. You're gonna go ahead and wash this with water and you're gonna wash the sticky side first with cold water. Then you're gonna wash the really dirty side. Make sure everything is out of the screen print and then you go ahead and put it right back on the sticky side, I mean the shiny side, and you get to reuse it again. So you get to use this probably about 12 times so you don't throw it away. So you use this about, um, about I would say 12 to 15 times is what you can do. So look at that guys, is that gorgeous? So give me some hearts if you just love it, love it, love it. I am so excited about it. That turned out absolutely gorgeous. So it takes probably about three minutes to dry, or you could um, take that little dryer and dry it and then it's it's all good. Now the lovely thing about Chalk Couture is that is hard to the touch. So um, once it is dry, it does not come off unless you do what I did in the beginning where you soak it with water. So you put water on it and then you rub it with the um, dry erase. Otherwise it is permanently on there until you take it off. So it's a lovely thing. So yeah, so that is too exciting. So I'm going to leave it over here because I'm not going to dry it yet, but I don't want his little feet to get stuck. So I'm going to just put him right here. I'm going to close up all my stuff. And then we're going to go back to the shirt. You know what's weird guys? I don't have my my little jar. You know how like I usually have my jar of stuff? So hold on a second, let me get a new jar. Isn't that odd? I'm gonna need a new jar. I don't have a jar. What is going on? I washed it and I don't know where I put it. I wonder if it's with my like workshop stuff how strange and then you just make sure nothing is in your colors because we don't want to co-mingle that's for sure all right 
And then at some point, oh, okay, no, it didn't shut off. Okay, so that's good. I thought maybe my Cricut thing shut off again. I'm like, oh my gosh, at some point it shut off, but it did not. It's still going over there. And then we'll make sure that our shirt is dry. And even if it's not dry all the way, at least it'll be dry enough for me to take that mat out. <laughs> so, because that was gonna make me a nervous wreck. I didn't wanna, I was afraid to take the mat out because I was afraid that I was going to, see this one is a little too much now, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, I was afraid to take the mat out and it was going to fold onto each other. You know how like the letters were gonna fold onto each other? I didn't want that to happen. And then it was gonna ruin it and I'm really excited about that shirt. Oh, that's a mess. Jeez. Oh, I just love that color. We gotta think of more projects to do with this one, Christy, oh my gosh. Gotta think of stuff to do with that. Although that was great for all of our Halloween projects. Oh, oh, that's it about to turn off again. All right. Okay, let's do that. And we don't want any of this on our shirt. So guys, are you guys ready? I'm ready, I'm pretty excited. So let's get this going here. Pretty darn excited. And if you guys are not part of my VIP, you guys need to put in VIP and get in my VIP group. So in there we share other inspiration and projects from our workshops and all kinds of fun stuff. So you guys got to get in there. See, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. So it touched each other. And not in a good way, guys. Not in a good way. So just so you know, with this then, you can wipe this down. Okay, so you can wash this and wipe it down. Judy, I don't know if you know that. I'm not sure if you have this, but I'm not sure if you know that, that you can wipe this down to get all of that ink off of there. And I'm really running out of room on my desk over here. <laughs> All right, so now let's dry this. I'm so excited. Isn't that so pretty? I'm so excited about it. Okay, I'm going to make sure this is plugged in because maybe that's why I was making that weird sound because I'm not sure what was happening over here. Yeah, it's plugged in all the way. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it does sound better. I don't know what that sound was. It was weird. It was making a weird sound. Okay, so all of a sudden, Christy, I got something that says, yes, they do. Two of my favorite colors. <laughs> so I don't know when you said that. But <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. Oh, the teal and the purple. I bet you, you are saying the teal and the purple. And you are absolutely right. Because I absolutely love those two colors together and you are the one that made me realize that the two colors don't go together when you did your little things. Because I had no idea. And now that I see it together a lot, by the way, I see it together a lot. Mom, what are you doing awake? Mom. Ma, are you ready for this? Are you actually awake or are you just like kind of in and out? <laughs> You gotta tell me, Mom. Because I gotta show you something. So answer me first. <laughs> See, we're all curious why you're awake. <laughs> so tell me, are you really awake? Because then I'm gonna show you something. I'm really awake. No, you're not. You're a sake. <laughs> okay, Mom, are you ready? Are you ready? Look at what we did. We did this in honor of you. Because it was warm out today. We weren't doing, um, we didn't do Christmas because it was so warm out today. So we did Thanksgiving for you. Are you so happy? Are you just so happy, Mom? 
Okay, so we gotta we gotta get the shirt really dry. That's the only problem. Do you just love it? Yay! So that is the challenge that we have with doing shirts, is that you have to make sure that it is um, dry, dry. So this is the time we really chit chat. But mom, you can go back and rewatch it, which is what I told everybody that you were gonna rewatch it at like four in the morning <laughs> and give comments uh, at four in the morning. But we did shimmer too, so wait till you see it in person. We did shimmers. But then on Wednesday, I'll start Christmas. <laughs> so that'll be good. But isn't this pretty? Isn't this going to be so nice, this shirt? I'm excited about it. It says, very thankful, grateful, incredibly blessed. I'm pretty excited about this one on this shirt. Joey picked out the shirt and um, the color ink. So I think it's going to be good. And it's, I just don't feel like it's ever going to dry. I'm telling you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I just tell you guys. Oh, and I got to turn my thing on anyways, people. Okay, so while I'm trying to wait for it to dry, I will take this time to do my little commercial. <laughs> so, let me tell you. This here <laughs> is the, um, the little... I, I, okay, let me let me let me start over. <laughs> so, this here is our awesome um, kit. This is the big giant kit that is available until the end of this month. So on Halloween it will be gone, and a new one will come in. And so this one is ninety nine dollars. What's fun about this one is you get the cute little countdown kit. Do you see it? Do you see it down there? So you get the fun little countdown kit. This one is ninety nine dollars. And you get everything in everything that you see here is included. So it's about two hundred and fifty dollars plus. Um, I think it's thirty nine dollars. So you can do that addition for me. <laughs> so I'm a I'm a math person, uh, banker, past banker. I can't do that math in my head. So um, so yeah. So that's this one, which I'm pretty excited about. Then you have oh, you get a lot of chocolate chips in this one too, which is pretty cool. Then you have this one. This is the basic kit, which is kind of like, I look at it as an a la carte kit. So um, you just get what you see here. It's only $19. And this is for those people that already have a bunch of stuff or want to pick their own stuff out. So that's what I like about this one is you get um, the apron, you get um, some, the catalog here, you get um, some basic business building type stuff, but then you get to pick your own transfers at your 40% discount. So it's pretty cool. So, it, it, and you are right, Judy. It is an awesome, awesome deal. And mom, what are you saying? So can you let that air dry? So mom, we did. So mom, we did let it air. We did this one first. So that's a good question. We did that one. We did it first. And then we were letting it dry. Now I don't have to scream at you guys so much. So we let it dry. Um, we put it to the side because it was really, really, really wet. And we set it to the side, let it dry while we did our awesome gobble to your wobble. And then we brought it back because the um, mat was inside it. And I was afraid to take the mat out. And I was afraid it was going to fold on itself and then ruin the transfer. So I was scared about that. And so then... Um, but before we heat set it, because you have to heat set it or it will not stay. Once you wash it, it will come right off. Okay, so you, well, it won't come off all the way. It'll just ruin it. So um, we have to heat set it on here, but it has to be dry to heat set it. You could let it dry overnight instead of drying it with the heat with a um, quick dry tool, you could let it dry overnight and then heat set it in the morning. So you can definitely do something like that. So that's fine if you wanted to do that. But obviously for um, the purposes of what we're doing here today, I'm not going to do that because I wanna show you guys. So I'm putting in one of these little pillows. So this side down. So I'm gonna put one of these pillows in here. It's a perfect size pillow for our design today. Look at that. So 
I'm going to put it in here. This is dry enough now for now for what we're doing. So it's perfect, actually. So you're going to put one of those in there. If you don't have one of these pillows, um, you can use um, any type of pillow, really, to, that protects it. And then you can use either a Teflon sheet, you can use parchment paper, anything that will protect your surface. Um, parchment paper is probably the best kind, um, in my opinion, if you don't have a Teflon sheet. So that, that's what you need to do. All right. So it is all going to depend on what type of shirt you are doing for your heat set. Okay. So if you're doing cotton, if you're doing rayon, if you're doing um, polyester, if you're doing whatever it is you're doing, you have to look it up to make sure that you're heat setting the proper temperature. Okay. So what we're doing, um, the Cricut, um, the little Cricut heat press is 305 for 30 seconds is what I'm doing. Um, and then you turn it inside out and do another 305 at 30 seconds, okay? So I've not actually used a, a Cricut heat press, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, but I'm assuming it's pretty much gonna be the exact same as a regular heat press. I mean, I can't imagine it being much different than a regular heat press, and I'm pretty experienced in a regular heat press, so. If I can reach it over to my project, that would be half the battle. All right, so look at this cute little machine. Isn't that adorable? So we're gonna go ahead and put it here, and then we're gonna hit this little cricket button. And now it's already counting down, so we're gonna go ahead and push this down like this, and we're gonna just hold this. What you say, Mom? What do you mean by it's dry enough for what you're doing? So the ink itself, it goes on wet. And so you need to have the ink itself dry for us to heat set it. So the ink itself needs to be dry. So you don't want the ink wet because if the ink is wet, it's going to go ahead and stick to the Teflon or to, um, or to the, what you call it, whatever the, what is that, um, parchment paper. So you don't want it to stick to that. Does that make sense? So then... We're done with that part. So now we're gonna go ahead, take that off of there. We're gonna turn our shirt inside out. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Do you see how it kind of goes through a little bit too? Isn't that fun? And then we're gonna go ahead and put this side down. And we're gonna do the same thing. And mom, I shared this is a hundred percent permanent. So the shirt I have on, as a reminder, the shirt I have on says underestimate me. That'll be fun in heat vinyl that I made a couple years ago and um, out of heat vinyl. And it's almost completely, um, it's pretty torn up. <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna put, I have a Teflon sheet. Again, you can use parchment paper. And then we're gonna put this on Again, for it's at 305, 30 seconds. We do very light pressure. We don't have to put a lot on. So I don't know if I'm looking like I'm putting a lot of pressure on. But you don't have to put a lot of pressure on. It just might look like I am. And then once this is done, then you are 100% done. It is a completely permanent feel. So, and unfortunately, you're not going to be able to feel the shirt. But it will be completely done. So... Um, I have made a couple shirts. I know that you guys have seen my Chalk Couture shirts I've made. I've just never used a Cricut before. I've used my heat press. So, let's see. Alrighty. I'm going to turn off my thing there. And then let's see. All right. Look at that, guys. Oh. And then when you, oh gosh, if you guys were to feel this, it feels just so different. It feels so different than vinyl. So it just feels so different. So there you go. So you guys see it? Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. So these are the two projects that we did today. I know it took a little longer, so I'm so sorry that it took a little bit longer. So, but there you go. So those are the two projects that we did.
Thank you guys so much for sticking with me for my projects. Don't forget to sprinkle my video with your friends so we can grow our awesome little community of DIYs. So don't forget to give me hearts, 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 love hearts. So thank you guys. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. I do love that too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Judy. And I will see you guys soon. So I will see you on Wednesday and we will start some Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.